Hello and welcome back to another Outlaw walkthrough. Today we're going to be discussing how to add in the footnote variable. So let's go ahead and get started. Obviously the footnote, as it says by its name, you can add this in obviously to your demands if you're citing something specific there or maybe your different contracts that you're working on. So this is a relatively new variable um, and this is how you can add it in. So the first thing, as always, you're going to do an open bracket here. This will allow you to select which variable you want to add in. You can either go to the bottom and click on footnote here, or you can just do the caret. From there, it'll allow you to either type out or copy in what you would like. You can see as soon as I did that, I have footnote number one, and it will appear directly underneath the paragraph or section I added into. If I wanted to go into this next paragraph here and maybe add in another footnote, I have the option to either add a new one or I can add the same one. If I add the same one, obviously it's going to be the same information and it's going to be the same numbering system. But if I wanted to, let's say, add in another one here. All right, we have our footnote. We're going to add in a new one. It will then add that in there. Um, if we do want to, if we do want to change this variable notes, you know, you can actually um, adjust those. So what I was saying, if you wanted to, you know, change this from being numbered as footnote one, you can actually change it when you add a new one. So you can see here, um, I did another testing variable. If we want to do this other footnote, we would just type in our caret and then our number here. So we could add footnote three, and this can just say lots of stuff. Perfect, so we can see we have our footnotes one, two, and three. That is how they will be separated. I can click into them and I can add additional info if I wanted to here. When I hit save, that will update. Same thing as if I were to go and reference this number two footnote again. I can just select existing and it's basically going to be referencing that there. Also something to note with the footnotes, basically as you can see when you add in three separate ones to one paragraph, it will just each put them on its own line. We don't have any way to control that because as you see, if I click into here, um, I, it's not like I can backspace and fix any spacing or formatting there. Um, so, you know, if you wanted everything to be in one footnote, you might just need to, you know, copy it up here, add in testing or whatever you might have there. Um, but that is basically it. So I hope this helps. 